Hello. Hi. <laughs> Welcome to TFL Table Talk, July the 20th. I can't believe it. Yeah, time is flying, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Um, this is a new member of our TFL team. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. In hopes you can. A $20 mic. <laughs> We've went. We've gone big time. Big time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, try not to try to tilt it forward so it isn't uh, at the table, isn't taking up too much of the screen, but it looks okay, I think. We'll see here in a little bit. Yep, we'll see. <laughs> well, we hope that God's blessed you this last week and that you've had uh, a good, uh, productive, successful week. As far as us, uh, we got rain this week. Yes, and you might even hear it now. I don't know how sensitive this mic is, but it's raining now. So we're real real thankful for that. Yeah. A lot of the farms on this road that we live on, the farmers have lost their whole corn crops, and they use them, make silage out of to feed their cattle in the winter. Right. You know, so they're really, they're really hurting right now. A lot of corn crops just didn't make it. Got Ours enough, didn't do well either. No. So. Got enough rain to get uh, the guys who uh, cut hay. They got enough rain to get first cutting done. Mm -hmm. uh, but, boy, they got that first cutting done, and then it just went dry for two months. And now, you know, we're here in the middle of July, and they might get another cutting this right. year. But they usually... Get three here? Yeah, they? two to three. But uh, usually... The second cutting is the best quality hay of the year. Uh, this year, I don't know if it's going to be that or not for them. But um, so praise the Lord for the rain. And then I have been operating for almost a month now. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> Long story short, I broke my glasses. And well, the cut Thor broke my glasses, but it was a bear story another time but anyway so i had this old pair fortunately so i've been wearing them and it took them a couple of weeks to get me in to see the eye doctor because you know everybody's so booked up and everything now but anyway i got in there and they said how old are these glasses and i said oh about six years old the, the pair that got broke you know they're only about three years old and this was the pair before them and so she said sweetie because <laughs> you know southern things but anyway she said sweetie those glasses were eight years old and the ones you're wearing are over 10 and i said well no wonder i've had such bad headaches since I, so trying to work at the computer and you know do stuff in the house and on the farm with glasses i wear trifocals so it's been a challenge but yay i get my glasses this coming week so i'm so excited <laughs> yeah and uh totally we got, topic yeah sure. well that's something that you had I'm done. But we got uh, the farm cats were what eight, ten weeks old. Ten, ten, weeks, ten old. weeks old. We got some of them rehomed, so that's good. Um, you know, you can't have too many farm cats when you got barns, uh, especially in this area. I mean, in this area, we found out that uh, I mean, the rats are. They're like rats. They're brown rats or big brown rats. I don't rats. remember what kind that exterminator told. Uh, Brian and Carrie, um, but they're supposedly smarter than your average. They come you know. off the boats over on the coast and mm. have migrated across. But they're smart. Oh, my Yeah, gosh. if you catch one, you'll never catch another one the same way, it seems like. But uh, And they're big. But, um, you know, you need those farm cats. They'll they'll do the job they have God designed them to do. <laughs> yes, yes. And uh, we're now three weeks, I think, without a predator attack. We've yes. had a hawk attack, possum, a coon, um, bear. bear. So, I mean, but we're three weeks without one now. So, that's good. We've done all we can. Yeah. <laughs> because we mentioned it. <laughs> yeah. Thor's always going out, uh, making his rounds, you know, making everything know that he's been here. So. Well, and we went, um, we went. We had a water problem. We lost some pressure. And then we lost all the water. So we had to walk up the mountain to find the water. And when we got up there, we were astounded at the bear scat. Yeah. That was up there. You know, so 
the, and the, the line had been broken. So we don't know how that happened. Could have been a deer stepped on it. Could have been somebody being mischievous. Could have been a bear. You know, they pick them up and, you know, that kind of thing. But, wow, it, we were, we were, I was walking around singing, go bear, 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 we're here, bear. Because <laughs> if you make noise, it's supposed to keep them away, you know, so. Yeah. I don't know if it did or not, but it comforted me. Yeah. And the, the you know. We had the, Thor, though, so I mean. Yeah. Was, they got a lot of uh, berries, you know, in their scat right now. So oh, yeah. Yeah. We've got a lot of that, but they've got plenty to eat right now. Yes. And the berries are a little bitter because they hadn't had rain when they needed it. But that didn't stop them from eating, it looks like. No, and they're dry now. I was looking at them earlier when I was outside. They they dried on the vine. Yeah. So. Well, this week on TFL, um, you know, YouTube videos, uh, 20 skills from your great-grandmother. That uh, has gotten over 50,000 views. And I'm so glad y'all loved it. Yeah, Rhonda enjoyed making that, which she said, so. Um, also, uh, I didn't even know that you really could do this until a little bit, a few weeks ago, but there's a, if you go to view the channel, the Farmer's Lamp channel, and you go over to, I think there's a tab there that says community, uh, we've posted some polls and, uh, some photos on that that you can interact with, um, I think we posted first uh, like the giveaway when we did the giveaway. That reminds me, the publisher, for those of you who won the free book, the last giveaway, um, he said that he has shipped those out. He, Friday, uh, Thursday, he was getting the labels ready for them to ship. Oh, okay. So. so if you're one of the winners, you should be getting that uh, this next week, hopefully. Hopefully, as slow as the post is. I would yeah. give it seven to ten days, you know, so middle of next, not this week, but. Next week, maybe. Yep. Post is getting slower. But uh, also, the community polls, uh, one, uh, I forget the username, but uh, ask uh, uh, for a video on how to make noodles. Pasta. Uh, or pasta. I'm sorry, pasta. And I think, uh, yeah, noodle is pasta. But uh, in the Einkorn cookbook, um, there is a recipe on how to make your own noodles or pasta. I don't remember exactly what you put in there, but uh, but it is in the Einkorn cookbook. And that also brings up the subject of changing. Oh, yes. We have um, decided to pull the plug on the old host for all of our eBooks and migrate them um, actually to the farmer's lamp using um, a technical process so don't worry about it but anyway so they're not available right now but next week they should all be available yeah if technology and i can get along with these glasses if not it will be the the following week but um yeah go to the shop store on the farmer's lamp and go to the library and that's where all the books are yeah so uh you know goals for next week hopefully you're your new glasses come in. Oh, they're supposed to be here Tuesday, so that means maybe Friday. Yeah. You know how things are now. And then for Q&A this week. Um... Okay. I mentioned in, in the post on dehydrating food what what we do to seal our jars. And I put a link in there, but there I received like four or five questions about, I don't know how many, but anyway, about does it work? You know, she's seen them. Some people say they do, some people say they don't. We talked about um, my brain, Whew, Saturday evening brain, uh, the air, you know, the patches. Yeah, you, yeah, the air, uh, air, the oxygen packs. Oxygen packs. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. I'm the winner. <laughs> yeah. Oxygen packs is what we've always done in our jars. But, you know, I was always a little uneasy about, you know, is, is this oxygen pack good enough to use again if I open the jar, you know, that kind of thing. So uh, we found this tool. Uh, this is our second year to use this tool. First, yeah. I don't know. Anyway, we've used it for a while now and it works really great. So I wanted to demonstrate with you. This is a jar bell peppers. I don't know if you can see that, but you can see I've already used some of it out of there because the, the, they're dehydrated. So it's going to take a lot less than you think when, when you rehydrate these. I've got some of those tips in that article. But anyway, I'm going to open this so you can hear it pop. Yep. You heard that. It was sealed. 
and this aroma comes right out. <laughs> oh, I love dehydrated bell peppers. They're like Where, where's the Where's the aroma button on here so we can put that <laughs> oh. on YouTube? Oh, I wish. I wish. Somebody got me a couple of times with that prank. Uh, my mother eats these like candy. She loves dehydrated bell peppers. All right, so. Okay, so I'm going to. Can you put it on the lid again first? Oh, my word. <laughs> I told you Saturday yeah. evening right. brain. Time to play Scrabble. <laughs> Let's get the board out. I feel a wind coming on. So I put the cap back on. I don't know what mm -hmm. I was thinking, my word. Okay, it's been a long week. Okay, then you push it down on there. Okay, then I'm going to push the button. Of course, I'm going to sit on the table because that's where it needs to be. I don't know if you can. I'm just going to do it like that. On top is going once. It's telling you how many seconds you've been vacuuming. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Okay. They, uh, the I recommendation for this one is, I think, 45 seconds as a minimum. So it just kind of gives you an idea. And that's for the quart jar, but I can feel it in my in my hands. It's vibrating. And then this thing is going to shut itself off when it's sealed. We're at 38, 39. Yeah, I need to check on something. Go ahead. Okay. I know y'all just sitting there watching me. I should have fast forwarded this and done, but anyway, here we go. So we're at a minute and it shut itself off. And I don't know if you can see that or not, but it has a little thing. It went off. <laughs> when it shuts itself off, um, there's a place on here to lock or unlock. Uh, when it shuts itself off, it tells you how charged it is because it has a, a USB cord that you charge it with and it tells you it said 93%. So I've used it quite a bit. So okay. There you go. Yep. Sealed. Sealed. Took all the air out. So that's what we do. That's with our dehydrated vegetables. You know, so yeah, it, it works, works good. really well. And it saves you from uh you know those oxygen packs you don't know when they're gonna go bad really. Yeah. You know? Yeah. I mean they work and they work yeah, they great. Work. We, but we, you we've used them for years. You have to rebomb and yeah. You know, I like this one because it's rechargeable. It tells me how charged it is, and right there you go. So that was the Q and A right. demonstration this week. Well, as far as um, something that's been a health help to us um, this week, I will tell you something that you can't. I can't find it on the internet anymore. But when the internet first came out, um, I read about a German scientist. Um, doctor, scientist, whatever. It's been, you know, over 20 years, but uh, it was on there. And then they've done a good job at, at you know, Hiding. limiting, limiting uh, the internet. If only they could limit the propaganda, then, you know, we wouldn't have anything to watch. But <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this, um, this uh, scientist uh, said that he did studies and he believed that uh, viruses were passed mostly through the ear and not through the mouth like people think. Um, but he thought that they would go, that they would uh, go in there and be incubated for a couple of days and then you would get a flu or a cold or something like that. And so what he recommended was um, that you take care of your ear health. And so what we started doing years ago is if we're around people that have a virus or they have a, a cold um, and, you know, this has worked for us, you know, everybody's different, but this works for it us. This for is us. something that has helped us is um, as soon as we're around like the grandkids, they have a cold or, you know, around friends or family, they've got a cold and they're coughing and sneezing around and touching things. Um, we would, um, uh, put a, about a cap full, maybe not quite a cap full of hydrogen peroxide. Just, Enough to fill up the ear canal. Yeah. Not much. Just the regular hydrogen peroxide. 3%. That, yeah. 3%. 3% that you buy, you know, you and the store, or you can make uh, your own from your 30% food grade and you could dilute it down and make your own if you wanted. But we just buy ours and... We let it sit in there and it will until it stops bubbling. So I'll lay down, uh, you know, 
on the couch and Rhonda will put a dropper full of it in there, about a half a cap or so, and it'll bubble. And sometimes it'll bubble way out. Um, and then it'll quit bubbling after a while. And then we take a rag and lean over and then we take a Q-tip and just don't go too deep, but just, you know, clean out a little bit. Don't go past that hole. Don't push past. Yeah. Don't push past the hole. Uh, you don't want to do any damage to your eardrum, but then we do the other side. Yeah. And when we roll over to do the other side, we put a towel under that side and let it drain onto that towel. Yeah. And that has really, I, from experience, it's helped us, um, you know, oh, avoid a lot of uh, people sicknesses that people share and go around. So, uh, if somebody says, well, you know, that's, uh, you know, just a placebo effect and that's why it works for you. Well, well it works, <laughs> it works, you know, so <laughs> that's something that we've used. And, uh, if you've ever heard of that or if you've used it, you know, uh, let us know, but, it seems to have helped us. I agree. 100%. Anything else? I can't think of anything. I sure hope y'all are getting some of this rain. And um, yeah. a lot of our friends uh, in the Midwest, they've had a lot of tornadoes yeah. this week. And um, I think there were like 400,000 people without power there for a little while. So um, we send our best wishes and hugs your way thoughts of you and we hope everything's okay there yeah but we do hope if you're dry you've gotten some of this delicious rain <laughs> <laughs> we've all been kind of sleepy today even though we had a lot to do but because of the rain we're like oh we just want to sleep in this weather you know the, the cats and dogs are gonna sleep so yeah anyway all right until next time safe and happy journey <laughs>